Are hypersonic missiles the future of war? What are hypersonic weapons? Are they the future of war? What do you need to know? Hypersonic missiles are a preferred war preference since they travel faster than the speed of sound, at least five times faster. Though fondly referred to as next-generation weapons by the Kremlin, the question is, are they today's generation weapons or future weapons? So, can governments craft a future that is hypersonic proof? What is the face of warfare looking into the capabilities of hypersonic missiles is the arms race one? According to Daniel Araya, a senior fellow at the Center for International Governance and Innovation, with the capacity to travel at speeds exceeding Mach 10, 10 times the speed of sound, before maneuvering unpowered at low altitude to reach their target, HGVs, hypersonic glide vehicles are exceptionally hard to detect, track, or intercept. Where ballistic missiles travel in high arcs, HGVs maneuver along much flatter trajectories, sometimes just hundreds of feet above the ground, making them extremely deadly to aircraft carriers. Indeed, the combination of accuracy and high kinetic force makes HGVs uniquely effective weapons. The rise of hypersonic munitions has ignited a fierce debate about the changing nature of defense technologies. The 20th century saw the introduction of tanks in the First World War, providing mobile firepower and protection for modern infantries. The invention of gunpowder in ancient China gave rise to firearms, cannons, and eventually munitions, drastically changing the dynamics of siege warfare and battlefield strategy. Each of these milestones permanently altered military history. But first, you might be wondering, what makes hypersonic missiles preferable? They can evade any defense system that is currently in use, thus precision in reaching their target. They increase response time because they travel faster than the speed of time. They are capable of being fired from land, air, or sea. They are capable of flying below the line of flight detection capability. China and Russia are currently ahead in their hypersonic developing, testing, and trials, thus outpacing the USA and NATO. As it is right now, the USA is working towards hypersonic and ballistic tracking, space sensor satellites that will demonstrate tracking and targeting to support hypersonic engagements. Those satellites will participate in flight tests and real-world threat collections throughout the fiscal year 2024. There are two types of hypersonic missiles, hypersonic glide missiles and hypersonic cruise missiles. Glide missiles are similar to ICBMs in that they are propelled by a high-velocity rocket booster and travel along a hyperbolic path. Unlike ICBMs, however, they do not leave the Earth's atmosphere. Instead of free-falling in a fixed trajectory, their descent is controlled by a glide mechanism that allows them to be remotely piloted by operators on the ground. A hypersonic cruise missile, on the other hand, is equipped with a propulsion system known as a scramjet, short for supersonic combustion ramjet. Scramjets require less fuel than what is needed to propel conventional rockets, as their combustion process is partially powered by air flowing through the engine at supersonic speeds. Because less fuel means less weight, a warhead propelled by a scramjet can move extremely fast. The current airspeed record for a hypersonic cruise missile is 9.6 times the speed of sound. The missile is designed to be fired from fast-moving aircraft at lower altitudes and travels along a horizontal, rather than a hyperbolic, flight path, which further reduces the time it takes to reach its target. Did Russia use a hypersonic missile on Ukraine? Just recently, in February 2024, Russia used the Zircon missile in the Ukraine war, which presents a new challenge for Ukraine, which uses the Western air defense systems. The Zircon has a range of 1,000 kilometers, 625 miles, and travels at nine times the speed of sound. Its testing by Russia was concluded in 2022. The Zircon missile is not the only hypersonic arm used by Russia. Russia has been using the air-launched KH-47 Me-2 Kinjal hypersonic missile, also referred to as the Dagger, to strike targets in Ukraine on many occasions. The difference between the Zikron missile and the Kinjal missile is that unlike the Zircon, which employs a scramjet engine or other advanced propulsion system while maintaining hypersonic speed, the Kinjal has a solid fuel rocket engine most likely derived from the SS-26 Iskander ballistic missile, which cannot be shut down in flight. 
Are other countries catching up? AUKUS, which stands for Australia, United Kingdom, and USA, announced in 2022 that they were at work to build hypersonic defense-style capabilities as well, including the sharing of nuclear-powered submarine technology, in an agreement that sparked anger in China and upset France, which had a contract to sell diesel-powered submarines to Australia. We committed today to commence new trilateral cooperation on hypersonics and counter-hypersonics and electronic warfare capabilities, as well as to expand information sharing and to deepen cooperation on defense innovation, they said. Conclusion. Hypersonic missile capabilities are not a distant future thought, but a current advancement that has been tried, tested, and used even in the Russia-Ukraine war. So implementing further defense mechanisms is a task that governments cannot afford to ignore. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.